Probably there is no translation of that in English. I don't know. Maybe there is, you know. Actually, there is tam yis. What is it? Tam yis. Huh? But in, we always say, when we say quickly, tamiz. Huh? Now, tamiz is a noun. And it is mansub. And it comes, okay, it comes <coughs> in the sentence, okay, to to remove any ambiguity, huh? to remove any ambiguity, okay. I just give you one word. Ana akbaru minka. What did I say? Ana akbaru minka. What is the translation? I am older than you. Or I am bigger than you. Did it make any sense? It did not make any sense. Did it make any sense? What way you are bigger than me, brother? You didn't tell me. Huh? So now I will tell you. Now this is just an outline. We are going to study this in detail. Huh? So just try to understand as much as you can. And if you miss out something, don't worry. Okay. Ana akbaru minka sinnan. I am older than you in age. So sinnan I used tamiz as a to, dis, to dispel any ambiguity. Huh? Are you with me? So it is mansu, it comes, it is in a singular form, it is indefinite, and it is mansu. I give you another example. Ana akbaru minki. I am bigger than you. In what way? Then I'll say malan. What is the meaning of malan? Money. I'm, you know, I'm richer than you. In what way? In money. So malan came. So malan will be your tamiz. Huh? This is just. Uh, you know, I try, try, well, I'm trying to explain you in as simple a way as possible. All of them are coming in, in uh, lesson number four in uh, book two. Uh, they are coming in. Okay. Now, whenever you will use come in the sentence, what did I say? What is the meaning of come? Come, how many? Is it clear how many? No, it's not clear. In how many of what? Are you with me? How many of what? Huh? Then I bring tamiz. What will I bring? I will bring tamiz. Huh? So after come in the simplest form will come tamiz. It will be indefinite now. Singular noun, and it will be mansub. Okay. For example, kam kitaban indaka. What will be the translation? How many books you have? Are you with me? Kam kalaman indaki. How many? Kam sayaratan indaki. Kam baitan indaki. Are you, see, after come, I am using baitan, sayaratan, kitaban, kalaman. No, these are all mansub. So what is this kalaman? Tamihis. What will you call it? Tamihis. Huh? Tamis. Tamihis. Huh? This is very beautiful, brother. Okay. And uh, if I tell you, come, kitaban, indaka, hmm? Kam kitaban indaka. Okay, this is a question. Okay, but indaka, you know, what is indaka? Zarf and mudafili. Sahi? Indaka is zarf and mudafili. Can it be mubtada? No. Huh? Jar majur, zarf mudafili can never be mubtada. Huh? Never. And so that is your zarf and mudafili. It is not mubtada. And then kitaban, what is kitaban? It's tamiz. Then what is kam? Mubtada. <laughs> you know, in a sentence like that, 
we can easily analyze the kam is mubtada. Where is the khabar? That is tamiz. Where is the khabar? No, that is tamiz. Tamiz cannot be khabar. I say kam kitaban indaka. What is indaka? That is inda is your zarf shibu jumla khabar. And what is ka? Mudafili. You got the idea? Now this is in the simplest form, huh? inshallah. But we are not going to analyze that. We are only trying to understand that after kam, there is a noun, mansub, it is indefinite, it is singular, and we call that mansub noun tamiz. 